to British Basketball League here on Sky Sports. Great game, looking forward to it. What do you think the keys are in, in this game as London's the first to get on the board? He's not rushed. As you can see, they're in isolation. Very difficult to stop. Deep down in the post, Ola Sheni puts that one in. Almost a horizontal shot. Straight down the middle to have very little resistance, and Matt Morgan will thrive off those types of balls. Second chance opportunity, and Maceo Jack with the flush. First, he chewed on his team a little bit. And then, you know what? Got a few seconds. Why not give the ref a little bit? Just to, just to plant the seed, <laughs> not get the calls. Tariq Phillip, step back three, and he gets the shooter's roll. Tariq Phillip, back to back three. So the pump fake could be very effective in this game, but twice coming up empty. Nelson to the far corner. Morgan. Wow. When you're on, you are on. That's a scary concept, yes. isn't it, for everyone around the league? Like, like they need that. They need that, like Ant Rowe needs more good looks. 58.9% <laughs> so far this year, and Jaguars just giving us a demonstration as to their struggles on the line. Well, they can't. Oh, Josh Sharma! Wow, we see. Pick their moments, you just got to get what you can. They've only scored 12 points the whole quarter, yeah. so. On the drive, and that's another way to get three points. The and one coming. The Quincy Rudeau, that would have been a thing of beauty if he got that to stick. Morgan comes right back, and his shot is sent to Surrey. Wow, well, what's particularly interesting about that play, you've got the leading scorer in the British basketball. Look at the leading yeah. scorer, Maceo Jack. And Maceo Jack says, no, I'm trying to catch you. Not today, or well, not right now, Matt Morgan. Wow. Just as much credit to them as to me. Yeah. Well, we would love to see you on the court, but obviously you're out injured. Just give us a little update on your injury. Yeah, just went, Sorry, they went, just went down on my ankle pretty badly. Worth noting that the Cheshire Phoenix did arrive late to the arena. They got stuck in some pretty severe London traffic. And a nice answer back there on that, too. Yeah, excellent cut there. Kristen sort of hung in the air and was able to absorb the contact. Nice up and under by Bradley Caboza. Jack and Rye, when they're on the court together, you basically can count on at least 60, 70 points between the three of them. Nice tip away, take away D, and it'll be showtime. And a nice dunk in the copper box. Really impressed with Cam Holden's energy and intelligence. Another game to find and play there from Holden. Back to seven, and Oh, Sharma! Have mercy! The other official called, and here's the pass. Watch this. Oh, come on. Wow. A play like that energizes the Copper Box faithful and the Lions. Back up by nine, here we go, another three-point opportunity. Phoenix. Well, he has been immaculate from the floor. Six of six shooting. London Lion trademark. Sharma again, oh my goodness! Chester looking to run, again, another and one. Well, the three for the conventional way is not working, go to the and one program. Go him. Head down, go right. How many times have we seen the to four and two and give the London Lions their first loss of the season? Yep. Morgan, beautiful pass inside. Ola Shetty with the finish. Nelson with a hesitation fake. Wanted to leave it for Sharma, but he was sealed off. And another and one opportunity. Ethan Shark was done a good job of staying aggressive. In the first quarter, he had made himself three opportunities that he didn't convert on. And you can see that sometimes the forgotten man, but this is a guy that played four years in the ACB, including being all oh, the squad for Battle How about that? Cam Holden showing his acrobatic ability. And nothing there. Connor Morgan comes away with it, kicks it back inside. Beautiful ball feed there. And a nice finish by Kieran Sandy. Cheshire having to rely on individual talent. You know, Maceo Jack, Cam Holden. Good interior defense, ball knocked away, taken away by Connor Morgan. Nelson behind the back and a nice throw down. Beautiful sequence there for the Lions. Off the mark. Cheshire's gonna have to do something special, another turnover, and that's one of the things the coach has talked about. Take care of the ball, Connor Morgan. And it's just not dropping for him. No agreed. And goes to the to, to the length as well. Remember, Josh Sharma's in the challenging shots, which has an effect even on players like Macy or Jack, who are averaging 20 points a game. Off. 
Nice back cut there, and the help defense came, no foul called, as E.J. Stevens is able to kick it off the glass. That's an excellent backdoor cut. And then the ability to hang in there, yeah. avoid the block, and finish the play. Josh Sharma showing his versatility from 10 feet, just an easy jumper for him, and two more pushing it back to a 20-point lead. Maceo Jack's been quiet, instant offense. Yeah, good use of the, the body there, and avoided Josh Sharma looking to block that. And the play before Josh Sharma, everything he touches turns to gold. Six to, from six now from the, the floor. For 13 points personal. Sharma down on low post now. Oh, poking it away once, twice. This time he's successful. Nice takeaway by Stevens. Maceo Jack will let this one fly and hit. So back to back bucket for Maceo Jack. You can tell they've got the green light from the coach, right? I mean, anytime you feel it, let it go. And sometimes as well, that's. that's Teams that know each other pretty well, they've already played once this year. The first game going the way of the London Lions. Wow, look at that. Josh Sharma got the bump and able to lay it in. They wanted to take care of the ball. And that third quarter was really a huge difference for them. Wow. Extra speed from Matt Morgan. They just could not get in their rhythm early. No, they couldn't. And that's four for 16 now. That's an unhealthy 25%. Oh, beautiful backdoor cut. London trying to put the finishing touches on this. Cheshire's got a doable schedule, I would say, coming up. And you look at what they've got the next three games. Manchester on the 15th, Plymouth City on the 22nd, and the Bristol Flyers on the 27th. Yeah, I think they would be uh, you know, confident going into those three games. And remember, they'll have a 3-3 a three and three record after this. Yep. And they played London twice, remember, within those, those six games. So London, I, yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot to tweak other than Coach Youngblood's going to say, guys, we could have done better in rebounding in the first half, and we could have done better taking care of the ball. Boy, for Coach Youngblood at, at the half, he was not happy. I think they had 13 offensive rebounds going into the second half. So definitely a focus for this London Lions team. They've definitely cleaned it up here. And also, Todd, uh, you guys spoke about earlier, how do you beat the London Lions? And we spoke about it's going to be somebody's early Christmas present because London Lions have a crazy uh, schedule. They play Christmas Eve. You talked about this before. It is going to be a tall task to beat this London Lions, especially when Sam Decker comes back and you get the services of Jordan Taylor. I think, I think so. And well, it's not like they needed to send a message and row to the rest of the league, but the London Lions now are a perfect 7-0 in play.